can't help it. I can't help it. Forgot him on camera. I always forget him on camera. I guess that's what I like is I forget I'm on camera and I just like to I just like to ramble you know that's what I like I don't I don't like moto vlogs and I you know I just I just feel that most of those moto vloggers go out and they, they pick a subject to talk about and that's boring you know I, I want it to be spontaneous and random and I think that's why some of those videos that just random things happen in their videos that those videos are so much more successful. The videos that just feel so scripted, it's just like, I think is what killed a lot of moto vlogging or bigger name moto vloggers. I know a lot of them are having a lot of issues with YouTube and I've seen this. I don't know what's all going on and I'm not gonna get myself into it, but you're doing it as a job and it just it doesn't come across as being fun anymore i don't watch a lot of big moto vloggers anymore because of it a lot of the big moto vloggers they just they're doing it and they're making money off of it and that's their only job it just doesn't come across as exciting anymore like i mean they're doing better videos because they have the time to do it but it's not as exciting. That's my opinion. Yeah. I don't care. You know, I, I like said I'm not going to get myself into all the politics on it and everything, but I see a lot of them are they're having issues with YouTube and making money anymore. Would I love to make money? Yeah, but that's not why I'm doing it. I don't really expect all honesty become popular or get a lot of views. It's just a way to show show people what I like and then it's a way to like reflect back on things that I've done places I've gone that's kind of really I mean like I said I, I would honestly like to make some money off of it so I can get a better laptop pay for an actual um, moto vlogging soft or not moto vlogging so, uh, an actual video editor um, oh that one's really in there maybe buy a couple more cameras you know just just stuff like that I, I don't plan on trying to make it a job because I never want I never want to do that I, I just it's cool that they were able to make money and a living off of it but to me it, it was just a bad idea to, from the start it's like it was one of those too good to be true kind of things and good things must come to an end kind of thing in my opinion just just spitballing um now like i said they released a lot better quality videos when they started just doing it as a job because they had the time you know some of the big moto vloggers they talk about when they were starting out they, they just didn't have time to really release a lot of videos or make a lot of good quality videos but now they have the time and stuff and it's just like i said treating it as a job it just doesn't become it to me it, it just it doesn't scream exciting like they used to like like i said i used to watch all kinds of different big name moto vloggers anymore i just i don't i just every once in a while i'll scroll through certain name uh, people's videos and uh just see what they've been up to i guess that's but i don't subscribe to them or anything because I'm not I'm not really interested in watching every single video they come out with like ever they said every once in a while they release a video a lot of the time it's clickbait everybody's doing it I'm not gonna rag on anybody but a lot of time it's just clickbait but 
I don't I don't watch every single person's video that they, they put out and I don't usually watch the whole thing either you know certain it depends it depends on what I'm doing now YouTube says that you should only make a video that's three minutes long That is not a dog, that is an overgrown rat. But, like I said, it would be cool to make money off of it and it's really cool that these guys were just able to ride around on their motorcycle and get paid for it. I mean, what more could you ask for if you're a motorcycle guy? Or drive around in your car and get paid just to do that, you know? Or get paid to just do reviews on your favorite, or video games that come out, you know, things like that. It's like, how awesome is that to just make money off of that to sustain yourself or and, and you know live but for me to, to, to think that you're going to solely rely on that for income it's not a good idea and the other guys that you know keychains shirts stickers you know they got into that stuff and got into selling stuff and that was a smart idea to make more money too but still i mean that that is reliant on your youtube channel like if people don't know who you're, you are through YouTube, why are they going to buy your t-shirt unless if it's a really, just a really cool design, you know? So, I don't know. I just, like I said, I would love to make money off of it. If I don't, I don't. I don't know how long I'm going to do it. I don't, you know, I'm just, I'm not doing it with the expectations that it's going to get, my channel is going to blow up, you know? It, it hasn't blown up, you know, I, I just started doing videos. It's hard to, for these smaller channels to get started. But I don't, still don't plan on being like famous or anything, you know. I just, I just want to do it for the fun of it right now. Because I actually do like, you know, messing with the videos and recording and being able to, like I said, just mainly to be able to reflect back and see like where I've been and you know, and things like that, and be able to show uh, friends, family, people I talk to, you know, I can hand them one of my spam cards and be like, hey, this is what it's like out here, you know, Wyoming, South Dakota, and this is what it's like to have a supermoto and, and things you can do with a supermoto, you know, that's, that's what I like about it. Like I said, as of, as of right now, I'm not really expecting to get paid or get famous, but like I said, it would be cool, but I, I would never consider it, even if I got really popular, I couldn't consider it as a job. It's just, because a lot of those big moto vloggers, they're regretting it now, you know? They quit their jobs. They've been focusing on uh, YouTube solely for all their money that they've been making. Now that their channels aren't doing as well, they're they're really hurting. And I mean, it's a bummer for them, but said it, it's just I, I I couldn't I couldn't consider trying to to do it as just a job. It's just I I just don't think that's smart, and I don't think anybody should look into moto vlogging as like, oh yeah, I'm gonna get famous and I'm I'm gonna do it as a job. You know, because I, I hate having to have a 9 to 5 job. I hate it too, but at the end of the day, it pays the bills. That's, for me, I, that's all that matters. Like I said, I would, I would like to get, um, be able to do it just to get some extra money to buy, like, a nice computer, because I... I use my work laptop and it's not the greatest. Um, more cameras, you know, I'd like to mount a camera, maybe looking up at me, and then I'd like to mount one like on the swing arm or something. But other than that, like I said, I, just, I don't care. It, it, it's cool if I do, it's cool if I don't. Still not gonna change the fact that I'm gonna put videos up, you know? Some people, they, they just won't do it because they can't make any money off of it. And, you know, whatever. Oh, it's got a license plate on it. <laughs> However the hell it's legal.
little slicker than I thought. Like I said, if I, if I don't make money off of it, that's not going to stop me from wanting to, to explore the Black Hills. And I, I'm going to have the camera with me anyway, so I might as well record it and put it up on, on YouTube. Because there's nothing else out there that's better than YouTube. There's really not. I mean, like, I wouldn't say maybe not better, but just more to the masses. You know, YouTube, everybody knows YouTube. Everybody knows if they want to watch a video, I'm going to go to YouTube to watch a video. There, and there's no other place out there that can compete in all honesty i've heard people talking that yeah somebody else needs to to get into the business but that just seems like a hard business to get in my opinion there's other people other like platforms out there i guess but they're just not they're just not there to be able to take youtube's business no way YouTube got it pioneered Every, like I said everybody knows everybody knows YouTube so there's no reason for anybody to go anywhere else <laughs> you go to YouTube for anything and everything you know I'm, I'm honestly waiting for YouTube to do an x-rated version of YouTube which they probably own they probably own one of the big name x-rated adult only kind of content channel or video or website that does videos I wouldn't doubt it I really wouldn't you want to talk about big money <laughs> uh, I'm gonna keep doing videos just just because you know like I said I I like doing it so far and I invested the money into it, so might as well keep it up. I'm sure there'll be times where I might like cut back on how much I'm posting, but there's still a lot of like places like I want to explore and and get on film and stuff that I've already been or video. I shouldn't say film. Uh, get on video or places I've already been that you know I'd like to be able to show the masses you know if if people can find it so the only thing I don't like is just being that I'm not like big named enough um, I don't show up in the YouTube searches like if you type in DRZ 400 SM my videos will not show up it's 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 pretty annoying but I just gotta stick with it you know I think eventually if, if I get more people starting to view my stuff then YouTube will start 